Back in the day, I was the go-to at wizard at the SEC. You know, Securities and Exchange Commission, where the only securities I was exchanging were sleep for stress. My life was a series of night calls like a superhero, except my superpower was rebooting routers at 3 a.m. I got so good at navigating the dark, I thought about moonlighting as a burglar. But like any sensible person who finds themselves whispering sweet nothings to a modem at 2 in the morning, I had an epiphany. So I quit embracing freedom, a little too enthusiastically, it seems. Before I knew it, my new office had four wheels and my home address was various locations in Northern Virginia. Living out of my car, I became a nomad with a library card. Rest in Rockville Falls Church, I was the only guy doing a library tour without a book signing. And let me tell you, nothing says I've made it like waking up to a view of the rest in public library. Visiting friends in D.C. became a special operation. My car tags expired, making my vehicle as welcome in the city as a skateboard in Congress. So I'd park in another state and take the metro in like an international commuter. And here's a pro tip for you. The key to seamless urban camping is to never look like you've just rolled out of a tent. I've mastered the art of looking casually homeless. It's all about the business casual homeless chick. Falling down became my weekly exercise. It's amazing how a public stumble turns you into a standout comedian. You learn to laugh it off mostly to assure bystanders you haven't broken anything expensive like your pride. Through it all, I found the secret to a stress-free life, inner peace, zen, and the unshakable belief that if I can handle a conference call while parked outside of Starbucks for free Wi-Fi, I can handle anything. So here's to the journey from my help desk to helping myself. Turns out, the biggest reboot I needed was for my own life. And maybe, just maybe, the real securities were the friends we made along the way. No, just me. All right then.